Hi everyone, this is Gail, your Palm Plant Girl. We are at Pleasant View School in Porterville, California. I thought they would think I'm strange doing this in front of the school, so I am taping from my car. Anyway, they have a pond here, and I am going to take some pictures of the pond. I'm donating plants, and you're going to really enjoy this. This is the Porterville, California. Pleasant View School? Yes. Pleasant View School. Really lovely pond, a project that I'm taking on. <laughs> and this will be one of my new proud babies. Got a Matterhorn thing going on right here. The kids love to help. So I have donated plants for the pond and then I will show you pictures. There's the principal, which I made him wear jeans. I did. The kids come out here daily and they scoop out the leaves out of the pond, which is very, very helpful and helps keep the water very healthy. Peace! Scoop <laughs> out! What grade are you guys in? Third grade? Awesome! Going to be fourth graders. I'm going to school. I'm sorry to hear that. What's in there? We've got all kinds of plants and stuff. Oh, Very helpful. Oh. <laughs> Where are we going to put it? Some of them are going to go in this pond and some are going to go around the pond. I'll Can show I you what we got down there. That fuzzy looking stuff right there? Yeah. That's called this? parrot feather. No, that's that's fairy moss. This? Ew. No, that's okay. That's parrot feather. This stuff here in the corner right there? Yes. That's water hyacinth. So we're gonna put those I like in. this. Yeah, so, I like this. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go you, Brad. We're putting water hyacinth in and, and water lettuce in, in the water. Watch it float. It's gonna float. Put it in. See, it floats. Okay, send it. Farewell. Send it sailing. Yeah. Farewell. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. My well. I'm going to bring more, but this will reproduce. You could put the fer parrot feather in the water too. That you can let that float. You're floating the waves. It doesn't look like much now, but then when it grows, it get bigger. It get. It doesn't look like much now, but when it grows, it'll get bigger, and some of it will make flowers. Oops! There we go. That's the way to do it. To the restaurant. Isn't that what kids are for to do all the work? <laughs> yeah. Bye. Almost. Come on. That's it. Richard, come on. I need this guy here. Yeah. You can come do my yard. Okay. He's a hard worker. I can tell. You're you're the kind of you're the kind of man all the girls want to marry. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> oh yeah, believe me, when you get older it will be. Black goldfish with the buggy eyes. <laughs> Teacher, she had it in her room. She put an ornamental like, goldfish in there. Well, it was like the other fish. The fish were picking on it in the tank. Uh huh. So she put it in here, and then she said she came back out, and it's all well. <laughs> it's like it's healed up, and it's just swimming around the happy as can be in here. Well, so I saw it this morning. That's a good thing. Yeah. That's because they got other things to eat and pick on besides it. <laughs> huh. Nice, very nice. I tell you, I'm, I'm very pleased to see that you're using your garden area. Every school that I have visited has a green, greenhouse, has the potential for doing gardens, but they don't do anything yes. at all. And so this is very encouraging wow. to see.
that will be my summer project at the elementary school, so I'm really looking forward to making it look very nice. Hey, you know Marvin? Hey, Marvin. Marvin's camera shy. <laughs> right now, we're back at my house, and I'm at my backyard pond. I'd like to take you on a tour of how my plants are doing. For two seasons now, my water lotus has not bloomed. Now, the first season, I didn't expect it to bloom because I was growing it from seed, and it never, it never blooms from seed. Second season, I was looking forward to it. It didn't bloom. Well, that's because I didn't fertilize. Not that well. During the blooming season, you've got to fertilize every 10 days. I've gotten lots of advice, and the easiest way to fertilize is using Osmocote pellets, the green label, and it's 14, 14, 14. You put about a tablespoon in a paper towel and wrap it up or in a coffee filter and shove it underneath the roots. Osmocote's great because it doesn't burn your plants and it's slow release. So I did that with my water lotus, so hopefully stay with me through the summer and you'll see the results. Keep your fingers crossed. However, I did notice they're getting pretty big. Now check it out. It's bigger than my head. I like this one. But you gotta be careful with water lotus because they get little thorns on them. I didn't realize that the other day. Let's take a look at some more plants. The water hyacinth this year just hasn't been blooming like it has the previous years and that's because we just had a cool springtime and it had a late start. But this is what you do if your water hyacinth is not blooming. First, of course, you need to have the sunshine and some warm weather, but you can soak your water hyacinth in a mixture of miracle Grow fertilizer in a pot. Just let it soak there for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Take it out, rinse it off, put it back in your pond. You don't want to put the fertilizer in your pond. We're talking about the powdered stuff. Completely different than the Osmocote. The powdered, bless you, miracle Grow fertilizer. Just let it soak, the roots will soak up what it needs, and then it will bloom and give it a nice boost. Now this little puppy, it's gotten about 12 inches tall. It is the rosette. I call it the rosette because it has the round bulbs and not the long skinny bulbs. And it's more tightly clustered, and I think it's a lot prettier, and it doesn't look so scraggly like the common water hyacinth does. I cannot pronounce the genus name, so you just have to trust me. It's different and it is less evasive, although it does grow quickly. Don't you? My water hyacinths just started blooming and producing flowers within one day of fertilizing. So I highly recommend fertilizing your water hyacinth if you want to produce more blooms. If you don't, that's fine too. You might get a lot of flowers without fertilizing. This has just been a rough season for flowers, I think. These are my cactus petal people! <laughs> they keep me company in the greenhouse. This is stargrass, and it's getting near the end of its season, but it is uh, shooting up some new little grasslings and new little flowers. Here's a good one down here. I like it. I think it's very pretty and it adds a, just a stunning, stunning element to, to your pond. Um, it's a grass or reed and it grows these really beautiful flowers on the top. Adds a lot of nice definition. Hello my friend Frank in Tennessee. Hi Frank. Frank, you are such a blessing. Frank donated a whole bunch of tropical water lilies to the, to the elementary school in Porterville. So thank you so much. Frank, you're a great guy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this program and watch for some more updates throughout the summer of 2010. This is Gail Gates, your Palm Plant Girl. Hey, you keep on being you, and I'll see you next time. You filter or in a paper towel, and I'm falling in the pond and my butt's wet. Ha ha! Ha! I'm wet.